children this morning. They brought life in this building. Come on and bless the Lord for our children. Stir up the gift. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Somebody ought to be encouraged today. If the gift is dead, stir up the gift. Stir up the gift. Hallelujah. 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 I feel all right in this morning. Oh, yeah. I dare you to give God some praise. Man, them babies got me going now. The babies got me going. We need to make that a regular. Now we need to tell the grown up stir up the gift. Old folks need to stir up the gift. Oh, Sister Tammy, I like that one. Amen. Stir up the gift. Stir it up. Stir up the gift. One more time. Come on, one more time. Get in here. Church, they said, This is what we do. We come to church, we keep still. Because I know 
when, when Beyonce come on, mama be, oh yeah, she be talking about all my single ladies. But when she come to church, mama stand still. So they learn to be hypocrites at an early age. Do we have anybody in here that is not ashamed to say, I'll praise the Lord if I gotta praise somebody. Y'all know it, listen, if I'm lying, stop me. Man, we might, hey, man. Yeah, that's the truth. We ain't gonna be long today. I know it's warm, amen. Come on, give God some praise for everybody in the place. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him for everybody that's in the place. Amen. Bless the Lord. I'm so glad to be alive today. Y'all all right? Sure. Now remember, we don't play Simon Says in here anymore, right? Right. Wave your hand, clap your hand, sing, beg them to shout, beg them to pray. Nah, -uh. if God has done anything, you ought to put that with you when you walk in the door. I know it's hot, but guess what? It was hot at the cookout. I saw y'all at the cookout yesterday. It was hot. Yeah, y'all were outside, and y'all, listen, y'all had, before I let you go, y'all had that plan, and you didn't complain, not one bit. Come on now. And that, that just, that, that, that's just the key to being a hypocrite, that's all. You at the festival, I forgot what that Spanish festival, whatever that thing was they had last. Cinco de Mayo, you out there dancing and shouting, <laughs> and you didn't care if the makeup sweat off. Cinco de Mayo. Go to the satellite, to the rooftop. Dance, take pictures, sit outside with your kids while they play football, basketball, cheer, dance. You don't care if you sweat. You know why? It's where I want to do something that's important. God ain't important. You may as well say ouch because you know I'm telling the truth. And that's why we're raising children who know about celebrities but don't have a clue who God is. Uh, ain't nobody saying nothing today. Uh, maybe I'll preach by myself. But I'm going to be quick today. Y'all say, y'all believe, if y'all talk back to me, I'll be quick. Can y'all say amen? Amen. Thank the Lord today. Listen, if you're here visiting, if you're here with us, we want to welcome you to the Word Church. Amen. We're so glad for our young people and those that work with our young people and the parents that push our young people. Amen. We want the rest of our young people to be out with us. That's right. Amen. You know, I'm telling you, God's going to judge you. You got your kid up there screaming, gang, gang. He don't even know Jesus. He doesn't even say the word Jesus. She don't even know Jesus. She said gang gang. You think Great God's going to judge that kid? God's going to get you. That's right. Walking around talking about gang. Gang gang. You're yeah. ignorant. Yeah, real. I love you, but you're ignorant. Yep. And our people are destroyed for what they don't know. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to talk straight today. Ain't nothing Amen. cool about raising babies that don't know who God is. That's right. Amen. Hold on. I ain't playing. Amen. Truth is the truth is the truth is the truth. We're going to hurry up today. Amen. Listen, we want everybody to know that you can ask any question you like. If you're here visiting, you can write down anything you would like answered, and we're going to answer them accordingly. Amen. In your program, there's a sheet of paper already provided where you can write down whatever may concern you. Right. And by the hope and the, uh, uh, by the permission and the ability of the Holy Ghost, we will answer your questions accordingly. Amen. Come on and say amen. Now, y'all didn't think I forgot, did y'all? We had a good time already. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yo, that's right. We might just bust out and start singing again. That's right. <laughs> sure enough. The bass player gone, so amen. I don't know if we can work it out or not. Amen. Amen. We might work out at any minute. Amen. Sure Put some shock to the, uh, some shock in the crowd. Yeah. Sure amen. Enough. Thank the Lord today. Y'all all right? That's right. Amen. So you can ask any question, and we're not going to hold you because I do know that it is warm today. Amen. It is warm, but we're going to get out of here. Amen. And keep cool. Can y'all just thank the Lord today? Amen. Can we just thank the Lord? All right, listen. How many questions do we have total? Just two. Just two. All right. Amen. Everybody said two. Two. Amen. Thank the Lord today. Listen, be reminded of all of our uh, announcements. Amen. Check on some people. This week, I want to challenge everybody to just look around on Facebook at some of the people you haven't seen and send them a friendly message. Now, if you don't know how to talk friendly, don't send them nothing. 
Please don't make it go worse. I, I just wanted to be better. Don't, don't, don't make it go worse. I, the purpose is to incur. Just let them know you miss them and you love them. You don't even know them like that. Amen. Yeah, well, let me just say this. Let me, let, I got to fix this up because this could get ugly. Amen. The, the brothers, y'all reach out for the brothers. Amen. That's right. Sisters, y'all reach out for the sisters. We don't want nobody fuss about nobody, husband or nobody wife. Right. We just want you to come back into the house of the Lord. That's right. It's bad I got to say all that, but y'all know I'm a pastor. I'm looking to keep up trouble away. It's real. Can y'all say amen? Amen. Hey, amen. Isn't it good we can laugh too? And some comedians said laugh at your pain. The funniest things in life are the things that are true. Yeah. At least that's what I believe. Amen. Amen. All right, Deacon, let's get to work today because the people are hot. Amen. Amen. Come on. Hey, good morning, Pastor. All right. I, am, I inbox you because I respect your knowledge, and I'm not trying to come off argumentative or contrary. Where does the Bible say we should go to church on Sundays? I looked, and nowhere in the Bible did they go to church or have to go to church. When they did acknowledge a day, it was the Sabbath, which was Saturday. Do you think the whole Sunday to go to church thing is, is a way to make money? I know you don't pay tithes at your church, so I know you know. But where does it say to collect money or any of this? If you can show me where they come together with money involved, I'll come. I promise. We're going to make a liar or a man of truth out of somebody. I, I almost didn't hear nothing he said except the challenge at the end. That's right. If you can show me, I'll come to church. You're going to be here now. I'm going to have to get Austin to video this, but of course he's not here, so it's going to be hard to get him to not, it's on. Uh, to pull his own. It's on. All right, I said, Lord, the video man not here to talk about why people aren't here, to show why people are not here. <laughs> I love him, but I'm just telling y'all it's real. Amen? Amen. That, man, I'm just so blessed. The kids just showed off today. Yeah, Amen. 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 The kids just blessed the house. Amen. Stir up the gift. Amen. 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 Uh, all right, so we're going to do this quickly so everybody can go. I, I just enjoyed the singing. I enjoyed the praise. I enjoyed it all today. Amen. Amen. I enjoyed the people of God. It's just awesome. I, I love what you said because the music should be not just entertainment. It ought to be ministry. Yeah. That's right. It ought to be picking somebody up. Come on, Amen. somebody. Amen. Uh, all right. Amen. Come on. Let's, Deacon, read that question again. I was miss. I kind of got out of place because of the uh, the. Uh, the challenge. Amen. Read the question one more time. Hey, good morning, Pastor. Mm -hmm. I unboxed you because I respect your knowledge, and, and, and I'm not trying to come off argumentative or contrary. I appreciate that. What does the Bible say we should go to church on Sundays? I looked, and nowhere in the Bible did they go to church or have to go to church. When, when they did acknowledge a day, it was the Sabbath, which is Saturday. Do you think the whole Sunday... No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. See, that's why I let folk write me, and I read even the stuff they say about me negative. Amen. I read those things that are contrary. I read those things that will put us on the spot. If you go to the average church preacher and ask him, where does the Bible say you can go to church on Sunday and not Saturday, and where does it say collect money and all that, they, gonna, they, they, they don't have any answers. And that's why they don't let people ask questions. Amen. Do you all understand that? But you said at the end of this letter, go ahead and finish the letter, Deacon. I cut Amen. you. Do you think the whole Sunday go to church thing is a way to make money? Yeah, come on. I know you don't pay tithes at your church, so I know you know. But where does it say to collect money or any of this? Yes, it says all of that. Now, what are, what are you going to do for me? If you, come, if you can show me where they come together with money involved, I'll come. I promise. All right. You promise. Now, we're going to see if your promises, if you're, if you're a man of your word. Amen. Uh, and if you're watching me on YouTube because you don't go to church, I want you to get a good focus on me, get a good look. Amen. Huh? Amen. And I want you to listen because I'm holding your feet to the fire. All right? I understand you ask others and they don't have the answer, but God's got it. That's right. Now, let's clear this lie up because I'm tired of you Sabbath day folk mm -hmm. running after me talking about Saturday is the day that you ought to go. You know, you ever heard of those church they call Seven Day Adventists? Yeah. And I'm not talking they're good people. Amen? I'm not talking down on the people. I'm talking about the doctrine. And so they say, we're supposed to go to church on the Sabbath. Number one, anytime you see a whole church that call themselves a Sabbath day church, and I ain't getting into that today, but let me just share this. And they say, we go to church on Saturday because we keep the Sabbath. They already broke the Sabbath, and they lied. Because if you get up and leave your house to go to church on the Sabbath, you broke it. 
to worship, you've already broken the Sabbath. That's right. God did not give the Sabbath for worship. He gave the Sabbath for rest. That's right. So when you go and start a whole church called the Seven Day Movement or Seven Day Adventist, you already lied. You already broke the commandment that you claim you're trying to keep. Amen. You better get me Exodus. We can show that. Let me tell you this, and, and I'm not going to go over the whole Sabbath day because they, they hunt me down. They said, Pastor, one of them came one time and said, Pastor, we had about 40 of them show up down Tidewater and said, if you change the name you use and the day you go to church, matter of fact, two different groups, said, we'll bring our whole church and, and submit unto you because everything else you preach is right. You just go to church on the wrong day. <laughs> and I said, y'all are foolish. I said, I guess we won't be seeing you. That's right. Now, let me just clear this up real quick. Amen? Amen. The Sabbath day, of course, according to Scripture, no doubt, 100% by the Old Testament standard was, of course, Saturday. I am no, by no stretch of the imagination saying that the Sabbath day is Sunday. Are y'all listening? Amen. But let me show you in Exodus 16, I don't know exactly what verse, but it says clearly, it says, subdeacon, it says, on the Sabbath, you cannot leave out the door. So all these people you see that say they keep the Sabbath, if they walk out the door to get the newspaper, if they go get the new, if they check the mailbox, if they run get something out the car, phone charger, phone going dead, and they left the charger in the car, they go and get it, they broke the Sabbath. <laughs> Did you know that? Huh? You wrote me, said you respect my knowledge. Now let me tell you what the other preachers will not tell you. All right, the book of Exodus 16 tells us that you are not to leave the house nor the door. Anybody know what verse? I'm going to start with verse. 23. Listen. And he said unto them, Come on. That is that which the Lord have said tomorrow. Yes, sir. Is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Yeah, it's a rest, not a day to go and worship. Amen. Bake that which ye will bake today. Yeah, you got to bake today. And seed that ye will seed. Uh huh. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. Oh, that's good. But that ain't, I want you to show me where it says you can't leave the house. 29. Listen to the book. See. See? For that the Lord have given you the Sabbath. He has given you the Sabbath. Therefore, he giveth you on the sixth day, the bread of two days. Uh -huh. Abide ye every man in his place. Oh, every man stay where? In his place. You can't leave the house. Let no man so go out of So all of y'all that keep writing me, talking about y'all should go to church on Saturday to keep the Sabbath, you're sadly mistaken. You break the Sabbath Absolutely. if you leave the house. Amen. Let no man. Let how many men? No man. Adventists. No man. Come on. Go out of his place on the seventh day. I, I told you. You see, look how confused the church world yes, is. Lord. You need a preacher. Y'all yes, raising all that money, coming together on Saturdays. Listen, stopping folk from going out to be with their families. Yes. yes. That's how they do yes. us. Yes. Huh? Stopping little league football. Yeah. I know that's what's important to you. Look how quiet it got. <laughs> all because you think you're keeping the Sabbath, and now you go to church instead. But if you go to church instead, you just broke the Sabbath. Broke it down. Now, the next thing you want me to show you, because you can't find it nowhere, Amen. is that people do go to church when? On Sunday. In the Bible? Amen. You say, ain't nowhere in the Bible that say that. See, you think it ain't. Huh? But this is the word church. Amen. We're going to get the word. Amen? Amen? You better get me Acts chapter 20. See if it's verse 6 or 7. Let's see if, they, if I can find Bible where they went to church. Then I'm going to show you this lie, that when you go to church, shouldn't be no money involved. You know, I like to hear them. I like to hear stingy. Mm -hmm. That's right. The stingy devil yeah. Yeah. say stuff like, why a preacher got to get some money? Why the church got to get money? You know what? I, those same people will pay a physical trainer yep. to stand in front of them and say, do another push up. Yep. <laughs> you know how much a physical trainer costs? Me either. Look at me. <laughs> I know what it costs. But you'll pay him. Why? He motivates you to do something you can't do on your own. Come on now. What do you tell me God does? Come on. What does this church do? Now, I ain't asking for you to pay me, but I just want to know why you're a hypocrite. That's right. I want to know why you'll pay a man to stand in front of you to push a barbell, but you don't see the value of coming to God's house. Come on now. Yes, Lord. Everybody say hypocrite. Hypocrite. I love you. You're just a hypocrite. That's all. That's all. Huh? Acts chapter 20. Ha, ha, ha. Why, if you love people, why don't you just do it for free? Go tell that to your barber. That's right. That's right. Tell your beauty stylist that doing your braids, your, uh, your summer braids. That's right. Say, do you love me? She say, yeah. Say, give me a love offering. Do my braids for free. That's right. Huh? <laughs> Damon Wayne's was at the Funny Bone this weekend. 
He stood up and you paid him to make you laugh. Yeah. You hypocrite. Huh? Came out your pockets. Came out of your pocket. Yes, sir. Now you say it's not in the Bible that people come together because that's all some old government conspiracy. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'm the king of conspiracy. I'll tell you when it is. I don't mm -hmm. mind calling the churches garbage. I do it all the time. But what we're gonna do is see where God say we should be here. Because if we don't have what God say we can be here, we'll close it down. That's right. Are y'all listening? Amen. Give me Acts 20. Verse 6. Listen. And we sailed away. And we sailed away. From Philippi. Uh-huh. After the days of unleavened bread. After the days of unleavened bread. And came unto them to, to, to Troas yeah. in five days, where we abode seven days. Uh-huh. And upon the first day of the week. Upon the what day? First day of the week. The what day? First day of the now week. Now let me ask y'all. What day is the first day of the week? Sunday. What did they, what did they do? And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together. They came when? Together. Now, what did you want me to show you? To break bread. Well, what did you, they Amen. wrote me that letter, want me to show you? Uh, do they come together? Show do they, they come, come together? Huh? Yeah, show me where they come together and money is involved. Show me where they come together Amen. and money is involved. Amen. Now, go back and give me that verse again and show me they came together on the first. Verse 7. Huh? And upon the first day of the week. Yeah, uh-oh. When the disciples came together to break bread. Hold oh. What was breaking bread? Breaking bread. We call it bread ourselves. Huh? Jesus said, I'm the bread of life. What is the fellowship of breaking bread? Huh? Us coming together. Yeah. When did they do it? On the Sabbath day? On the Sabbath day. No, you no, know why they couldn't do it week. on the Sabbath? First day of the week. Because they had to rest. That's right. They had to rest right. where they were, they and then they could get up and come together for fellowship on what day? Got you again. First. Now you want to know where people collect money in church because we don't believe in tithes. No problem. No, chapter 35. Steve Urkel said, no sweat, my pet. Huh? <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 16. Let's prove that, and then I want to see you at church. It don't take long. First Corinthians 16. Let's see if they, because, you know, you get these, I told you, we don't collect money. And you know what I noticed about these folks? This is what they say. The, the same group of people write me and say this. I thought we are the church. Why we got to go to church? And then they write me and say, why don't the church give us give more money and help people? I said, I thought you were the church. Ask yourself. <laughs> See how they play games? They, they come to me and tell me all the time, we the church, so why we got to go to church? And the same people who don't know, can the church give me a help? Can y'all give me a loan? Exactly. You the church, remember? Loan yourself. Make it easy on yourself. Take it out your pocket. <laughs> Put it in your Huh? Let's stop right. playing games and be real. Yeah. Now, let me give you Bible, because that's what you asked for. I got to move. It's hot. Come on. First Corinthians 16. Listen. And verse. I started one. One. Amen. Listen. Now concerning the collection. You mean they talk about that? Oh, yeah. I thought you said in the Bible there's no way to talk about collection. Not tithe, offering, a Amen. collection. Listen to the book. Now concerning the collection for the saints. For the who? Saints. No, for the fitness instructor. For the saints. For the, for the girl to do pictures and sell uh, 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 stat of bundles. For the saints. No, for the man that sell bootleg tennis shoes. For the saints. This is what he's talking about. All right? See, the Bible is real. Amen. We don't know what's in there. We're not getting to the place where we can get the right teaching. Amen. Listen. Now concerning the collection for the saints, uh -huh. as I have given order to the church of Galatia. I've given a what to the church? Order. So it, it's not just something he said, if you want to do it. I gave an order to the church. You better do it. To the what? To the order of the churches of Galatia. I told you, to the church of Richmond. To the, he's talking to you. To Amen. every church, I gave an order. Tell me Amen. what he told me to do. Even so do ye. He said, the, even so do you. Amen. Come on. Upon the first day of the week. What? <laughs> it's so easy. Very. It's so easy. What you can't see out there in YouTube land, what your pastor can't see, it's in the book. That's right. Amen. But you got to have the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. You got to have the Holy Ghost. That's right. Now, that man done Googled. He done came up with conspiracy theories. He done said all kind of stuff, right? He but that. he missed this. <laughs> Read it again, Deacon. Now, uh, upon the first day of the week. Uh, on Monday. Uh, 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 on Sunday. On Sunday. What did they do? He ordered them. Amen. Now, concerning the collection. For the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Yes. Upon the first day of the week. Let every one of you lay by him in store. Huh. What that mean? Come ready, have Amen. your money together. As God has prospered him. As God has blessed you. That there be no gatherings when I come. That we don't have to worry about when it's time to do worship, when yes. Jesus comes. We don't have to worry about where money coming from. Right. We've already taken care of the business. That's right. Amen. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. 
So now y'all can rest and get them folk off your inbox and your timeline. Talk about the Bible don't even say nothing about that. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Tell you what day they did it and everything. Now, here's the key. I'm going to blow you away. If y'all decide, I told my church this. I already know y'all not going to do it. But if y'all ever want to have a vote, y'all can have a vote behind my back. And vote and say, we want to have church on Monday morning. I promise you this. Well, no, I got I to work on Monday morning. Listen, Tuesday morning. No, we can't do it. Wednesday morning. No, no, no. If y'all want to have church, we can change our Sunday day to Wednesday morning. If we can get the majority of the church to say they'd rather have church Wednesday, I don't care what day we come. And God don't care what day we come. That's right. Sunday don't have no particular holy point to it. Every day, listen, every family ought to have one day they set aside. That's right. To go and fellowship and worship and be together with family and with God. That's right. But it don't matter which day. Now, in the day of the, y'all say, we go to church too much now. Oh, no, you don't. That's right. It got so rough for the people in the Bible, they said they needed God so bad. Acts 2, I think, see if it was Acts 2 and 40, 46, maybe. He told them they went to church every day. I thought they the Bible don't say you go to church. They went every day. And they continuing daily. How often? With daily. No, they stayed at home and watched YouTube because God is at home too. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple. In the what? Temple. In the temple. And breaking bread. And pre there it is again. From house to house. How, oh, how often? Daily. Amen. So we can go any day, every day, all day. But let's try to work on just getting here on Sunday. That's right. Try to work on getting here before 1 o'clock. Amen. That's right. Huh? That's right. Try amen. to get here and act like it means something is important to us. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 I want to play something for y'all. You got it, brother? And this is what I want to say about this because I'm so tired of people writing me, trying to find excuses why they don't need to go to church. I'm so tired of excuse because that's I, I, you know why I talk the way I talk? Because I, I talk real because people.